Novel Crafter, Style Guide. In this tutorial, we will create a style guide so that the prose that AI generates follows the same style as your own writing. Hello, my name is Avon Lee Dean. To create a style guide, you need a prose sample and you will feed it into a chat, which will produce a style guide. Then you will take that style guide and put it in codex. And then the AI will use that style guide when it generates the prose. To create a style guide, you need to write a prompt that looks something like this. Write a style guide as a list of general prompts. Do not mention any specific characters or locations. The style guide should be based on the following text. And then you will paste in the prose sample that you got. Okay, let's go to Novel Crafter and see how this works in practice. We are inside a browser. In our Novel Crafter account. In this tutorial, we will build our own style guide. We will use this novel, The Call of the Wild. Let's look at it. We see that our snippets are empty. We also see that our chats are empty. And in the plan, we see that we do not have any pros. Let's look at our codex. Right now, we have some characters. If we look at Curly, we see that it is not very much. We also have locations. If we look at Lake Bennett, we see that it is not very much. So our novel crafter is pretty much empty right now. Click outside. We want to build our own style guide. Based on the prose sample that we have in a text document on the right here. It is about 900 words long. Let's go back to our codex. If you click on the new entry button, you will see three items under the heading Quick Create. Global Entry, Style Guide, and Story Genre. They are not needed, they are there more like a reminder. In fact you can create any of them just by using the item, called Other. Let's prove it. First choose, Style Guide. A Codex Entry window appears, with the title Pro Style Guide. Enter no adverbs, in description to indicate a style. Click on the References tab. Under the heading Reference Tracking, the first two checkboxes are ticked. The first checkbox is always include this entry in the AI context. If you untick the box, the little globe disappears. The little globe means, include this entry, no matter what. The second checkbox is, don't automatically track this entry by name. If you untick the box, the crossed eye disappears. The crossed eye means do not bother about this entry name. Click outside. Now, let's create a similar entry by choosing the item called other. Call it JL style guide, where JL is short for Jack London. In the tags right, AI. The tag does not have any significance, it is there more as a label. In the description right, no adverbs. Click on references and check the two first checkboxes. Click outside. As you can see you have a codex entry, that looks exactly as the pro style guide. Now, let's delete the entry pro style guide. Go now to chats, and create a new thread. Open thread. Call it make style guide. Choose haiku. Enter the following prompt. Write a style guide as a list of general prompts. Do not mention any specific characters or locations. The style guide should be based on the following text, prose sample. Copy your prose sample. Paste it in. 
Send it away. And here we have our style guide. Copy the relevant parts. Go to Codex. Inside the JL style guide. And paste it. Click outside. We are now ready to use it. Go to plan. Go inside the first scene, by clicking on the pen icon. Right slash, and click on scene beat. Buck became furious when he saw what the other dogs have done to Curly. Click on generate pros. But instead of choosing an AI model, choose preview final prompt. You will find the style guide there. Close. Click on Generate Pros. And this time choose Haiku. Here is the prose written in the style of Jack London. Let's go back and summarize. Here is a summary. You start with a prose sample. You feed it into chat, which produces a style guide. Which you put in your codex. And then the AI will use that style guide when it generates the pros. That's everything for this tutorial. Thank you for watching.